Well, hello there. Beautiful day, isn't it? Look, buddy, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but you should keep a better watch on these roads. The Republic Army could be coming around this corner any second. <laughs> that was great. Do you think it's wise to let them go, sir? Just look at him, Jesse. He's scared out of his mind. Damn it. Jesse, Lance, shouldn't you two be in battle by now? What are you doing? You know you're not supposed to be out here. Did Master Kazmarek send you? Uh, he knows that I know where you two are. For the love of the Force, Ambrose. How many times do we have to go through this? You know you're supposed to let the Masters know wherever you are. We're going back. Come, Come on, Lance. I haven't seen battle in weeks. I'm so tired of listening to Master Niobe and Master Richard prattle on about battle and politics and strategy. Completely and understand, but history seems to repeat itself with you, Ambrose. And as much as I love, love the sound of Master Niobe's nagging, you're not supposed to be here. You know, for someone who doesn't like Master Niobe's nagging, you sure sound a lot like her. You understand what she's gonna do to you, to me? if she finds out that you left again. That's because she doesn't understand that I know what I'm doing. I can take care of myself. Uh-uh. We're going back. Fine. Fine. Hmm? Being a little hard on him, don't you think? No, no, no. The last time something like this happened, Master Niobe had me polishing each one of your battalion helmets for a week. And no offense, Jesse, but there's a little something called bathing. Now that woman scares me more than the Grand Master. Just ask Ambrose. Ambrose? Oh, Jesse. Please tell me she didn't run off again. That would make me a liar. Damn it, come on, let's go. I'll go take care of Ambrose. Go take care of your men. Yes, sir! Big time. Ooh. You think they look mad? No, you're in trouble. And I'm in trouble. We're in trouble. Forgive me, Master. I, I should have known. You two know better than to run off without supervision, especially in the midst of a crucial battlefront. Ambrose, I told you to wait for Richard and me to return. Why did you run off? Uh, excuse me, Master. Uh, the blame is mine. Uh, you see, I was teasing poor Ambrose here that she would never become a Jedi Knight if she didn't go out into the field and claim some medals. I urged her to improve her combat performance in the midst of the field and... Forgive me. Lance. You are a proud sergeant, and your heart is as noble as any of us. 
But this is a lesson she needs to learn, as you once did. Now, Ambrose, I want an explanation. I was just gonna... Forgive me, Master. I was just so eager to return to the battle and fight that I... I lost my place. Ambrose, wanting to seek justice for the wrongs of the world is a noble cause. Our order was founded upon similar ideals. However, as we have stressed in the past, you cannot confuse revenge with justice, especially thrill-seeking. I understand, Master. It won't happen again. Yes, it will. You are still young and these things tend to happen. You remind me much of myself when I was an apprentice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not something to be ashamed of, but it is something to be aware of. The goal is to get through this with as little damage as possible. It's how we all learn. Thank you, Master. Of course, my friend. <laughs> So, Master, we need to return to the fort at once. What has come about? A raven just arrived from the capital. The consul's viceroy will be arriving shortly. I sense a disturbance. Come now, let us see what news the viceroy brings. I knew royalty was a bit pretentious, but this? This is definitely compensation for something. Does he travel with that everywhere he goes? Every nobleman of similar standing travels with such luxuries. They think it beneath them to sleep or stay as one of the common soldiers. If you ask me, it is a grievous misuse of Republic taxes. Now, now, let us not be too harsh on the noble houses of our lands. After all, we all could use something to laugh at once in a while. <sighs> well, if you ask me, we should throw a few of them on the front lines for Ambrose to run through. She might actually make the full run this time. Listen <laughs> here, Mr. Pretentious. Now. No doubt about it, this man is definitely compensating for something. Yeah, what gave you that idea? I figured there'd be more stuff in here. Ambrose, Sergeant, silence. Listening is a sacred craft, one you should both learn to heed. Come on, Master O'Meara. How long have we known each other? You can just call me Lance, not Sergeant. I know. I think she likes me. You think everyone likes you, slug brain? Dwarf rat? Children. Welcome, Master Niobe. This is Viceroy Krejcik of the Military Industrial Company of Coruscantia. Viceroy Krejcik, allow me to introduce my lieutenant here in Christophsis, Jedi Battlemaster Niobe O'Meara. Pleasure to make your acquaintance, fair lady. Welcome to the front lines, Viceroy. It is a pleasure to have you with us. Yes. Master Richard, you were saying? Yes, Your Grace. As of this morning, we have pushed back the Separatist forces to their camping grounds on the outer regions of the forest. From there, they will not be able to mount a full-scale retaliation against our Mandalorian trooper force. But I fear it will be another week before we flush out the Separatist commander. They often like to hide behind enemy lines under the cover of a full brute guard. Well, as expected, General, you and your forces seem to have done a fine job of defending the outer walls of our borders. Coruscantia thanks you for your undying service to her people. Well, the war still rages on. It isn't a full victory until the enemy's commander is either dead or captured. However, as Master Kazmirik has said, this should be resolved by the week's end. Master Richard, I was under the impression that you were in charge here. Why does this woman speak to me of the strategies of war? 
20 Republic credits say we don't leave here without her breaking one of his bones. 40 says I don't. <laughs> You're on. Master Niobe is a trusted member of our order and the Republic. Her word carries just as much weight as any general in the Grand Army. So be it. I never understood your Knight's Jedi view of the world. It seemed a bit too frivolous for my taste. Surely, Viceroy, you did not make this long journey simply to discuss battle strategies with the Republic's generals? Yes. There is one matter that must be discussed. News of the highest importance that not just I, but all the senators of the Republic have been sent out to tell. What news could be of such importance? Kenobi. These are the words of our noble lord, the esteemed Emperor Palpatine of the Royal Naboo House of Sheen. Noble lords, knights, and esteemed warriors, we send you thanks and a debt of gratitude for your service to Coruscantia. Brave and heroic Sir Kenobi of the Knights Jedi Order has slain the necromancer warlord General Grievous in combat. However, with the good must also come the bad. What's going on? Grievous is dead and that's good news, but he keeps referring to Palpatine as the Emperor. I don't know. Something does not feel right. Can you feel it? I think they do. To all my beloved citizens, I come to you weak and changed. The warrior monks of the Knights Jedi Order, having long been thought to be our protectors, our spiritual leaders and allies, have betrayed us. Richard? It is with Not heavy yet. heart that I, as your new emperor, am forced to enact the Executive 66th Commandment of our Constitution. Commander, take these four into custody by order of our new Emperor Palpatine. Whoa, whoa! Oh. Your childish ideologies have plagued this land for long. No! By the way, you owe me 20 credits. <laughs> Kill the traitors! Take Ambrose and run! I'm not leaving you behind! I said go now, goddammit! Die, Jedi scout! Bring me that hand! any dark magic here. Perhaps they still view us as allies. Come now. Wait! What if they're like the others? What if they just want to kill us? We can't just go walk up there. We have to turn back. Ambrose, please. You mustn't argue with me. Not with what has just happened. Follow my lead. Just like old times. Like in Naboo. The trade disputes. General present! Attention! General. Commander, what are your orders? We're here guarding the naval port. Where have you come from? There's been a mutiny. Our platoon has turned on us. We need escort to the capital city immediately. A mutiny? Not my brothers. Do you accuse me of lying, soldier? No, sir. I mean no disrespect. Very good. Now I order you and your men to escort us to the capital. There are immediate council hearings we must attend. Yes, sir. We march to the capital. Move out! Halt! Good soldiers love orders. 
Is there a problem, Commander? No problem at all. Kill them! Where the hell have you been? Yes, we are fine, thank you. But I fear we will not be able to return to the capital. Or any Republic city for that matter. Oh, it's everywhere. Coruscantia, Naboo docks, they're even killing Wookiees in Kashyyyk Swamp. And when I say the entire, I mean the entire grand army of the Republic is possessed to kill Jedi on sight. Sergeant Ravenworth, you realize what you say is impossible. What reason would I have to make it up? You saw what just happened. We're marked for death. Every last one of us Jedi. Lance speaks the truth. Our worst fears have been realized. This is impossible. In order to affect that many minds, you'd have to have the influence of no less than the Grand Master. What? Palpatine. Read it yourself. What do we do now? Ambrose. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Ambrose. Wake up. Hey, Amb <laughs> Whoa, whoa, killer. Easy. Hey, it's me, Lance. <laughs> Give me the knife. It's okay. Oh. Hey, you really gotta stop doing this. I don't get it. What did we do wrong, Lance? Hey, we did nothing wrong. We have to focus on regrouping with the others. If we find the others, we could be the only ones left. Do you hear yourself right now? That's just not possible. We're knights. You're a knight. I never even got to go through the trials. Listen, out of everything we've been through for this last year, if there's anyone that deserves to be called a knight, it's you. Really think that? Yeah. Master, the second. Looks like Ambrose needs to catch her breath. We'll take a moment's rest here. Once we've all caught our breath, we'll keep moving. Oh, come on, Ambrose. Hey, look at me. Can you do this? 
come on, let's just go get some firewood. You'll feel better afterwards. All right? Come on. Hey, it looks like a good source of firewood. Where are we going? What are we even doing? We haven't seen another Jedi or even a friend in over a year. I don't know, Ambrose. Hey, but we made it this far, right? Look, let's just keep trusting in Master Richard and Niobe, okay? If you say so. Master. Up north, get I ahead! To the north! Over there, get us! Master, we have to keep moving. Take Ambrose and make for the river. Niobe and I will handle these scouts. Whoa, 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 hey, we're not leaving you guys. We're more than capable. Don't worry. Watch your back. Ready? Yes. I think Sir Koth would enjoy us giving our guest a warm welcome. Bring me the hat! Same nightmare? Yes. Just trying to get some rest, all right? How many of us are left? I don't know. Well, what about Sir Kenobi? Or Sir Skywalker? Can they help us? How much longer will you avoid answering her questions? What do I tell her, Niobe? That everyone she knows and loves is dead? Or how about we can only keep this up until we run into another death trap? All the more reason to make our stand. If this is to be our end, then let us die on our feet, fighting. I told you. I do not want us to run headfirst into death when there is still a chance we can get them somewhere safe. Richard, it has been over a year, and we have tried everything. The Empire spies are everywhere. There is nowhere any of us is going to be safe. I do not.
not want to hear any more of this. Do you know I'm right, Richard? So why do you not heed my words? Because there is even... Because there is even a sliver of a chance that Lance and Ambrose can make it through this hell, then we have an obligation to see that through. Even if it means we must lay down our lives, I will do whatever it takes to protect them. We will do whatever it takes. But that only happens if we work together. You have my sword, as you always have. From the first day we met, Where's Lance? He left a moment ago to gather more wood. We'll be here for a few more hours. The nights are growing colder with the coming winter. Yes, tonight especially. The air is heavy with... Here, Master, save your warmth. <sighs> oh, no. I have plenty of protection and warmth. You use it. Ambrose, really, don't worry. If it's not this, then it's something else. I need to be better, more vigilant, more... Ambrose, it's all right. No, it isn't. Everyone is dead. Our entire order is gone. We can't go home, we're stuck out here and everyone, everyone wants to kill us. Oh, it's getting cold out there. I think I got enough firewood to last us till morning. Did I miss something interesting? We were just assuring young Ambrose here that her presence is vital to our survival. We wouldn't have made it this far without you. Listen to this. So, a few years ago, me and a few of the troops had to go and create a distraction for Master Richard. You remember that? <laughs> I do remember that. So, it was me, Master Hauser, and a few of the troops. So, we decided that we we're going to go through the back of the stables to create a distraction. So, I'm climbing up through one of the back windows. My hand slips, I lose my torch, I fall and bust my head. I pass out for like 10 seconds. Next thing I know, Master House is shaking me. Wake up, Lance. Wake up. We gotta go. We gotta get out of here now. And I come to, I notice that the entire stable is engulfed in flames. Just And before I knew it, I try to get up out of there as fast as I could. I couldn't breathe, smoke's in my face, I'm coughing, snot's running down. I hear Master Windu screaming from across the moat. Get out of there, run, run, they're coming. But well, we got the distraction. <laughs> <laughs> During one of our sieges, um, I tripped and fell into Jesse. <laughs> I remember that. Yeah. I do remember that. Come now, Niobe. Share a story with the young ones. <clears throat> so, on my first assignment, I forgot... I forgot my sabre during a land dispute between the Banking and Modian clans in Cato. I don't think I'm hearing this correctly. Yes. You forgot your... I forgot my sabre. When negotiations became aggressive, I had to get creative. You pick up a stick and shake it at him? Another word out of you and I will thrash you myself. Now, now, Niobe, we all have our stories to share. Would the great master Richard Kazmerick be willing to drench his cloak in failure for our amusement. <laughs> Long ago, before I was a pupil to Master Broden, I was placed with a group of squires. One day we were in the Great Hall for a combat exercise. The masters were gathered there to assess the uh, progression of the recruits and begin 
deciding who would apprentice to whom. Before he was a knight, Sir Skywalker was a pupil, like all of us, if you can believe that. However, he started much later. Anyway, he bested everyone who came in front of him. So eventually, I was paired with him. As soon as the Battlemaster sounded off the call to begin, I was immediately put on my heels. Though I was able to give him a decent challenge, enough so that the Masters began to notice. So there we were, the entire group of squires gathered around the combat ring, watching as Sir Skywalker and I traded blow after blow, strike after strike. I think it frustrated Anakin because at one point, he let out a tremendous wave of force energy at me. And I, being the fool that I was, returned in kind. So naturally, leapt out of the way. As did a few of the squires. As they got out of the way, it revealed Grandmaster Yoda himself. He was speaking with some of the masters and his back was turned, and he was sent sprawling. So, naturally, as you can imagine, we raced over there, dropped to our knees, and begged for forgiveness. We thought for sure we were going to be expelled. But the Grandmaster being the Grandmaster, he began to laugh, and with that characteristic voice of his, <laughs> with blows like these, nights you will never become. Back to the sparring ring with you two. <laughs> and he then took his cane, shoved us each in the chest, and we went flying back to the ring. <laughs> I, I must admit, it was a spectacle. Those were the days. Why hasn't Ambrose been knighted yet? After all the trials we've been through the last couple of years, I believe she deserves to be next in line. An astute observation, Lance, and I'm inclined to agree. Sir Knight Ambrose. It's got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Master Niobe, I present to you a candidate for bravery in mind, body, and spirit, Ambrose Tahani. You can kneel now. Ambrose Tahana, by the right of the Council, by the will of the Force, dub thee I do. Jedi, Knight of the Republic. Knights of the Order, draw your weapons.
not going well. I know. We have to get them to safety. Yes, but how? Just follow my lead. Ready?